<laughs> Good morning. Oh, I got another message. Well, let's go ahead and listen to what it says while I'm cooking up some breakfast here. What? LifePod 3? I was just there! A rendezvous point? Hmm. So, they were afraid that their buddies would leave without them? That's... terrible. That's a sick thing to do. Alright, well, I've hung around the life pod enough. I need to take Maxwell's advice and make a radiation suit already. And that means exploring further out. I better see where the radiation starts to emit. Maybe get an idea of how much space I have to work with until I've got that lead. I know I need two pieces, and in the meantime, I should just get some material for the suit's fabric. Looks like creep vine's a viable option. Let's just go ahead and get some of that. I can't believe it. I deliberately hung around that life pod all day yesterday, and I didn't see a soul. Oh, there's the radiation. Okay, so no further that way. How can a ship that big have so few survivors? I wonder where I am in proximity to this ship. Let's have a look. Near the engines. Okay. Oh, there goes the radiation warning again. Yep, I need to get myself protected from that as soon as possible. Let's see if there's any lead in this new biome. Hmm? Okay, wow, I'm definitely not getting down there without more oxygen. Uh, good thing I made this beacon. Let's call it Cave Entrance. I should make more of those. The further out I go, the more I'll find. Hey, an Altera box! And... is that sandstone? That's the thing I got gold from. Alright! Lead! One down, one to go! And... huh? What's... a laser cutter? Well, hell yeah! I'll bet this'll come in handy! 33%. I need to find two more. There's gotta be a couple others around. I mean, they had to be stacked together. Oh, neat, another bioreactor fragment. Will this give me... Yes! Alternative energy to the solar panel! A Seamoth fragment?! Now we're talking! If I can... What? What's hitting me? Oh... Look at this little bastard. Tiger plants. Fuckers shoot bullet seeds at anything that gets too close. Another box? Uh-oh, radiation, but I gotta see... Yeah, a laser cutter. Is that a reaper? Was that a piranha? Oh god, too much going on at once! I don't feel good! I need air! Just time out, everyone! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Jeez! That was like the fifth worst moment of my life! And I knew I heard a reaper leviathan back there. I should have known there was more than one. Alright, I gotta play this smarter. Let's just stay near the surface and scan the seafloor from up here. Huh. This digital visor is being a little slow to load the image display. Maybe I should check and see if the fabricator can make diving masks like they used to in the 21st century. Oh? Hello? Aww, look at that! A mama and baby reef back. I gotta get a scan on this. Hey, little buddy! Well, you're not little, you're bigger than me, but this is nice. I needed this after what just happened. Alright, focus, Kenta. Gotta find a laser cutter, or another Seamoth part. Man, my body is sore after that. Like I got stabbed and sunburned at the same time. Whoa. Oh. I'm only good for 100 meters? I mean... Yeah, whatever. I don't really plan on going any deeper than that. Bart said not to. I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation. Maybe make a Seamoth, find some people, and slowly build back enough tech and supplies to get out of this beautiful, watery hell. You know, when it's not trying to kill you, this place is gorgeous. In some parts. Other places here really feel like a divine punishment from God. And after the circumstances that brought me to this point, 
I'm not sure which part I deserve more. I, uh, have a confession to make. Remember how I said earlier that it was a sick thing to do for people to abandon each other in a time of need? Well, uh, I guess this was inevitable. When I was with the Degasi crew in the last moments and our ship was shot, I was the one closest to a life pod at the time. That's all it was. Proximity and luck. I didn't even spare a second for my crewmates. I was in the pod, and I hit the eject button, and their screams were cut off at once. I don't remember much after that. Just the pod breaking and being surrounded by water and darkness. And then, by ghostly, translucent sea monsters. There were a couple of emergency flares in the pod, which I think I must have used to temporarily distract them. Like I said, my memory's patchy. The next thing I really remember is scrabbling up on the shore of some beach. I don't know how I made it, but it turned out that I'd washed up on the same piece of land as the massive gun that shot us down. There were no more ghost snakes, but I'd occasionally hear the roars of a different sea monster patrolling the water. For the longest time, I was too scared to go back into the water. Who wouldn't be? In retrospect, I wonder, did I earn this? I mean, it does sort of feel like penance. In the moment of truth, I put my life before that of my crewmates and left them to a watery grave for all I knew, because somehow my life mattered more. So in return, the universe said, Okay, you traded the lives of your five fellow humans for your own? Then here you go. Hope it was worth it. Five seconds. That's all it was. But I've been living here with the guilt of that moment for so many years now that I've lost count. Sometimes I can't fall asleep at night, because I get so angry about how disproportionate it is. I mean, the punishment for seconds is years? That's not fair. But then again, I see how gorgeous this planet can be when I look at it, and I think, it's not all punishment. There is beauty, too, even for someone like me. Well, that's enough about the past. I got laser cutter blueprints, but I still need stuff for a radiation suit. Where is that- LED! Hey, there- What bit me? What the hell- Oh. Oh, God, it was that stalker with glowy green skin spots. Did he just infect me? He better not have just infected me. Okay, good. I'm normal. I hope. Guess I can't actually expect to know anything for a day or two. Well, that's... Damn it! Now I'm worried! All those years on the island, eating alien fruit and fish, and I've never once gotten sick. Now in one day, I swim unprotected in water full of radiation and fucking lepers. I'm just begging for trouble. No good dwelling on it longer, I suppose. Let's go make that radiation suit. Might as well take care of one problem. Alright, put in the seaweed, get the fiber mesh. Make a bit more titanium, and... Actually, before I make the suit, I'm curious. Do I have everything I need to make that laser cutter? Everything but diamond. Oh no. Oh no, I know where to get diamonds! But I never wanted to go back there! Not there! Objective updated. Explore remains of Aurora. Suggested tools needed. Propulsion cannon. Repair tool. Laser cutter. At least two of three recommended. Ah!